Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making my absolute favorite steakhouse side dish, cream spinach. We're gonna start by making the super creamy sauce that goes over our spinach. So I have a half a stick or a quarter of a cup of unsalted butter that I melted in a big skillet here on the stove. And I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of flour. So just sprinkling that over. And this is gonna make our roux, which is kind of our thickening element for our sauce. So now I'm just gonna gently whisk these two ingredients together and let them cook for a few minutes until the color gets a little bit more golden brown and the flour, like the raw flour taste kind of cooks out. So you can see now it's turned a nice golden brown color. You can kind of smell too that it's been cooking a little bit. So now we're gonna add in two cups of milk. I have a quick tip for you today. When you're making any kind of a white sauce like this, where you start off with the flour and butter to thicken your milk, like I do this for homemade mac and cheese or I'm doing this for the cream sauce today, I like to take my milk and pop it in the microwave for a couple of minutes to heat it up. That makes the process of cooking this and bringing it to a boil so much faster instead of using milk that's cold straight out of the fridge. So this has been in the microwave heating up for a couple minutes and I'm gonna slowly pour this in to my roux and whisk it as I go. And the sauce will start to thicken and it's gonna come up to a boil much faster this way. Just make sure you're continually whisking your sauce to get any lumps of flour out that might still be there. Now I'm just gonna wait for this to come to a boil. I reduced my heat to low and now I'm gonna season this sauce up a little bit with a sprinkling of salt, just a little bit to start and then we can add more later because we don't want it to be overly salty. I'm gonna do a few grinds of freshly cracked black pepper. And then some more unconventional seasonings. I have one bay leaf here that I'm gonna throw in, one whole clove, and that's optional. You could also do um, a pinch of nutmeg, and I'm actually gonna do both today. This is kind of an odd flavor, but it pairs really well with like dark leafy greens, so it's quite commonly used. So I'll just put in just a really little bit because that's a very strong flavor. Oh, and I also wanna add in one clove of freshly pressed garlic. So I have that back here in my garlic press. I'm just gonna squeeze that through. And then, let me grab a knife here. My brother-in-law gave me this tip. He said always use the back of your knife to scrape the garlic into your sauce. That way you're not dulling the blade of your knife. So there you go, good tip. Now I'm whisking this all together and letting it simmer on low for a couple minutes so all the flavors meld together and it gets super thick. Before I add my spinach to my really thick and delicious smelling sauce, I'm just gonna use some tongs here to remove the bay leaf and the clove. So nobody bites down on that. Cause cloves can be super like bitter and almost numbing. I've bitten into one before when I've had ham on Easter. It's not pleasant. So you definitely wanna find that clove and get it out of there. <laughs> Now for the spinach, you have a couple of options. You could buy prepackaged frozen spinach and all you have to do is thaw it out and then really wring it out in either a bunch of paper towels or like in a clean kitchen towel to get all that extra moisture out of there. And you can use that. Or you can do what I'm using today and use fresh spinach. Now I have read some recipes where you actually pre-boil the spinach and drain the liquid and then throw it in with the sauce. But for ease today, I'm just gonna throw the spinach leaves right into my sauce. They'll cook down in no time and it'll be delicious. Spinach cooks down quite a lot. So I added my first 10 ounce bag of fresh baby spinach and I let it wilt down almost completely and now I'm gonna dump in the second bag because the amount of sauce that I made is really for two 10 ounce bags of spinach. My spinach is all cooked down and I added a little bit more salt and a pinch of onion powder for some extra flavor. So now I'm gonna taste the finished product. Mmm, wow, it's so creamy. It really makes a difference to have fresh spinach. You can definitely tell that that started as fresh spinach. Definitely a better bang for your buck buying the frozen spinach, but this is really good. Like with the fresh spinach, it actually tastes like it might be somewhat healthy, but we know it's not. 
but that's what makes it so good. <laughs> this cream spinach would pair perfectly with a ribeye steak, and lucky for you, I'll have a video linked for my recipe for that below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and find me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe. For the full recipe, check the description box below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.